It is the 17th of the 11th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on uh, earthchangesot.net. USGS reporting a 6.1 earthquake off of Tonga. Tornado causes pandemonium in uh, Portugal. Unpre unprecedented chaos tore through uh, Lagoa Sol Urbanistaton today <laughs> when a massive tornado literally ripped up the neighborhood at around 1.30 p.m. Uh, hundreds of people have been left homeless by the freak incident in which entire neighborhood has been reduced to tatters and many have been injured. It's a serious storm going on in Portugal. Uh, another 6.4 off of Russia. Rare red or auroras. Aurora are usually green and sometimes purple. But seldom do skywatchers see much red. The geomagnetic storm November 13th and 14th was different. It produced auroras with distinct distinctly rose hue. They've got some photographs of that. Gulf Coast oil rig explosion kills two. Four other workers were airlifted to a hospital. Uh, the Gulf, uh, the Coast Guard in the New Orleans says it is investigating a fire on an oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico, according to Associated Press. Now this is in shallow water, um, much closer to the land than the BP oil horizon was, um, which is also leaking. So is this story, uh, and apparently there's some stuff leaking off of that too. They're reporting two different explosions. Mount uh, Rokatinda spews ash, hundreds evacuated. New Zealand volcanologist warns Central North Island Mountain, uh, R-U-A-P-E-H-U, showing signs of an Im imminent eruption. The New Zealand volcanologist warned Friday that Central Northern Island Mountain of uh, Rapuhu was showing signs of an imminent eruption. I'm sorry about slurring the name. Russian drought means every breadbasket region on Earth has been hit with crop failure in 2012. Let me repeat that. Russian drought means every breadbasket region on Earth has been hit with a crop failure in 2012. Wheat prices are set to soar, of course, along with everything else. And another 6.0 earthquake in uh, Mexico, and I believe that was the one taking place yesterday. Over to the extinction protocol. Uh, no uh, metrological or alien connection with red rain falling in Sri Lanka. Well, check this out. Rare showers of red rain fell for over 15 minutes um, yesterday morning hours, and and the day before yesterday, according to the meteorology department, sources says the rain fell heavily in the areas and the reason has not been found yet. Red rain in um, these provinces left red frost on the ground. This is the first time red rain was witnessed in Sri Lanka. Uh, the health ministry secretary... Da, 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 is to conduct a study to ascertain the reasons for the red rain by taking water samples. An increasing increase in the activity of the air and sandstorms are the usual reason for red rain. However, there are no sandstorms in Sri Lanka and India have had red rain last year. It's a pretty crazy story going on with red rain going on. They can't really figure out what's going on with it. And number nine, 6.1 earthquake magnitude earthquake strikes Tonga region of the South Pacific. Uh, a powerful 6.1 magnitude earthquake struck along the Pacific plate boundary near Tonga Trench. The earthquake struck at a depth of nine kilometers. Uh, where was where was it going with this? Today, 6.1 earthquake and the ninth major earthquake is the ninth major earthquake to strike the planet in the last nine days. Current string of seismic activities began November 8th with the successive earthquakes striking Vancouver Islands, Miramar, Guatemala, and the Gulf of Alaska. So here we go again. Boom, 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 boom. 
and of course the, the Israeli war stuff. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, Australia, Quis Queensland, Brisbane, um, Somerset, severe thunderstorms, uh, tearing up power lines, power outages, the works kind of thing. Uh, more um, severe thunderstorms in the new south of Wales. Uh, they're talking hailstones, severe winds, uh, just bad summer st thunderstorms, that kind of thing. Cold wave in India. Uh, more extreme weather reports coming out of Australia. Extreme weather in Portugal, Portugal, of course, that was that tornado I just reported upon. And that's about it new going on right now. Over to the nuclear stuff. Dark substance covering water around oil platform that exploded in the Gulf. Feds, sheen can be seen for miles. Video and photo, dark substance. Well, they haven't proved exactly what it is yet. Associated Press, witnesses reported two explosions on platform and Gulf uh, oil storage tanks may have ignited. Work boots, hard hat found floating in the water. This one's out of Japan. Government, radioactive black powder near Tokyo is okay. Doesn't need decontamination. NOAA incident report refers to explosion in the Gulf as oil spill. Kyoto radioactive trout over 100 times government limit caught in Fukushima River. New oil near Deepwater Horizon in the Gulf. BP told to check the area again. Pilot concerned it's coming from recent cracks. Uh, Fed's oil could be seen leaking from platform that exploded. They're saying 15 people may be missing from the platform. And where was the other one? More stories on the platform, of course. The Guardian Post Fukushima film reactor is not repaired at all. With one more quake, Japan will cease to exist, resulting in destruction. We'll take half the planet along with it. Uh, we've been preaching this a while. Expert methane pressures uh, we're seeing right now around the sinkhole in Louisiana are a concern. And they've got a video on that. Uh, definitely want to take a look at. Nuclear engineer, uh, to me it means TEPCO knows about the rip and spent fuel pool liner at Fukushima unit number three. So they're talking about a rip in the spent fuel pool liner at number three, you know, the one that really blew up. Uh, it's, it's amazing to me at all that they still got water holding in the thing. And all this is, of course, seeping into the Pacific Ocean. U.S. importing food from Japan that is considered unfit to eat in Japan. Now, Japan has a limit of like 100 becquerels. We're at like 1,200. So be very, very, very aware of uh, what you're buying at the grocery stores. They are just the insanity. The insanity. And uh, watch, they leave the sinkhole each night at 6 p.m. No one there for 12 hours a day. Officials, I'll check if they're taking Sundays off as well. Insane. Insane. Well, that's about all I've got for you tonight. Uh, enjoy it while you can. Thanks.